Patients with multiple sclerosis, or MS, have high levels of soluble CD40L that broadly correlate with disability. Clinical and pathological observations have suggested targeting CD40L inhibition as a potential therapeutic strategy. A new trial evaluated the efficacy and safety of the second-generation anti-CD40L monoclonal antibody Frexalimab for these patients. The drug was designed to avoid thromboembolic events that have been seen with other drugs in this class. In this Phase II double-blind trial, 129 patients with relapsing MS were randomly assigned in a 4 to 4 to 1 to 1 ratio to receive 1,200 mg of frexalimab intravenously once monthly with an 1,800 mg loading dose, 300 mg of frexalimab subcutaneously once every two weeks with a 600 mg loading dose, or matching placebos. The primary endpoint, the number of new gadolinium enhancing T1 weighted lesions at week 12 relative to week 8, as determined by MRI, favored frexalimab treatment with an adjusted mean number of new lesions of 0.2 in the 1200mg intravenous group and 0.3 in the 300mg subcutaneous group, as compared with 1.4 in the pooled placebo group. Secondary endpoints, the number of new or enlarging T2-weighted lesions at week 12, and the total number of gadolinium-enhancing T1-weighted lesions at week 12, generally favored frexalimab. The most common adverse events, in 5% or more of the participants in any group, were COVID-19 and headaches. The authors conclude that in patients with relapsing MS, frexalimab showed a greater reduction in the number of new gadolinium-enhancing lesions between weeks 8 and 12 than placebo. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.